Karachi. We will not appease. We will not appease. By implication, you're comparing the ERG to the Nazi party, or, or at least to the South African racists. Now, whatever you think about the ERG, that was an unacceptable comparison, wasn't it? Andrew, I would say that that wasn't strong enough. In really? 1938, there were allies who hatched a plan for Hitler to annex part of Czechoslovakia, and Churchill said no, and he stood alone. He did. We must not appease. We're in a situation now, and let me just be clear, I'm an ethnic minority. We have in the ERG, in Jacobs Rees-Mogg, someone who is happy to put onto his web pages the horrible, racist AFD party, uh, a party that's Islamophobic and on the far right of, of the German system. We ha they're happy to use the phrase grand wizard. KKK is what it evokes to me when I think mm. of that yeah. phrase and the Deep South. I'm sorry, but very, very seriously, of course we should not appease that. Of course we should not appease that. Jacob Rees-Mogg has been absolutely clear that he does not endorse the AFD and the Grand Wizard stuff. We don't know where that came from. It's a dangerous thing, surely, to accuse him we of do being know, close to we, Nazi ideology. We do know that Boris Johnson um, is with Steve Bannon, who is yeah. a white supremacist. We do know that there are links between Viktor Orban, Salvini and others. I'm not backing off on this. Never will I back on, off on this on behalf of my constituents. And the BBC should not allow this extreme hard right fascism to flourish. And often the, well, the, 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 the prettiest side of it, MPs. I don't care how elected they were, so was the far right in Germany. They're often elected, often giving a cover for the thugs on the ground. And I'm afraid when people are experiencing rising hate and extremism in this country, we must not concede ground, we must fight it and call it out for what it is. The problem is, this is what a second referendum is going to be like day after day, week after week. What kind of country are we going to be like at the end of this process? What kind of country I are mean, we going to be like if these people are running it? What kind of country are we going to be like when we head into a leadership race and some of them get their hands on the levers of the country. Mm -hmm. Where will this stop, Andrew? It may be well, that you will be fine in that country, but many of my constituents will not, and that's why I stand firm. You would say that Tory MPs like Boris Johnson and Jacob Rees-Mogg are equivalent to Nazis. Ask Boris Johnson why he's hanging out with Steve Bannion. Is it Ask him that question, because he should Because, be. you see, you're sticking by that proposition. A lot of people watching this, we're absolutely outraged by that. I don't care how outraged they are. I think that'll be a minority if mm -hmm. they've got any sense. Because British soldiers in this country died fighting this thuggery and extremism. Mm. And here we are in 2019, and people are bringing it into the mainstream for their own political advantage. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We can't have it. Let me turn to something related to this that you've campaigned on a lot, which is Windrush. We have finally got a settlement by the British.